A great beer is a beer that's made with intention, a beer that's made with tradition, with great ingredients, a beer that has a purpose and a home and something that makes you feel good about it. San Francisco has been the home of Anchor Brewing since the gold rush. Anchor wouldn't be here without San Francisco. Sometimes we like to think San Francisco wouldn't be here without Anchor. Every drop of beer we've ever made was made in the city here. It smells wonderful. But that's been the story from the beginning, San Francisco made through and through. It's part of our heritage. It's all done right here. It's always gonna be done right here. I'm the fifth brewmaster in the history of Anchor Brewing Company. I started home brewing at a young age and just really had a lot of fun with it. I had a good friend in college and we used to drink beer together and talk about it. And it didn't take that long for us to realize, well, wait a minute, we should try to make it. And about a year and a half later, I, I saw a posting for a job here and started slugging kegs around the bottling line. It's been an incredible journey. I feel like there's a lot more ahead. And then the last one's a Croizen. We're gonna cool that a little bit cooler. Are you guys seeing any new trends? Anything trendy? I started working here in 1993. When I moved to Potrero Hill, came in as a home brewer. There's a lot of home brewers here at the time. My roommate had a home brew kit and I asked if I could use it. And the first recipe that I did was Anchor Steam Beer. It was love at first sight, I guess. We're mashing in a steam beer right now. This is about two thirds of the way in. We've got grain coming in from the top here. We've got water coming in from the side, mixing there at the floor masher. I had a good friend that worked here and he said, come on out to San Francisco and I think I can get you a job and the rest was history. Yeah. A large percentage of my tenure was with Fritz who was an amazing man. They like to call him the godfather of craft beer because he was essentially the first one. When he first got involved, there were no breweries like this. It was all Budweiser, Miller, Coors. He came in and one of the things he realized was not just buying a brewery to save a brewery, but saving a brewery that was brewing a style of beer that was unique to the West Coast. The steam beer was the first real style that was born in America. Prior to the gold rush, there were no professional breweries on the West Coast. A lot of Germans came out, and the type of lager yeast that they brought out really preferred to be in a colder fermentation temperature, but they sort of improvised and fermented this lager yeast at warmer ale-type temperatures and created steam beer. Three of our beers are made in open fermentation to this day. It's very traditional, what makes steam beer steam beer. It's a very different expression uh, from what most people are used to in beer. We're fortunate to be the last one still making it. Anchor's history is something that I take a lot of pride in. Simple recipes, falling tradition, open fermentation, which is very unique to Anchor Brewing Company. We use whole hops. A lot of breweries are just using pellets today, using yeast from the environment and continuing to use the same yeast strain. I've had the same lager and ale strain here for over 30 years. That's quite an honor to have maintained those strains for so long. Our brew house is a three vessel system, German manufactured, made in the mid 50s. So a lot of rich history there. Copper is what we're working with. Very large, 125 barrel capacity in those vessels. So they were brought in the way they are. So we had to cut a hole in the wall and take the windows out and then had some heavy lifting to get them in here, settle them in their nests. Everything's done by hand. We literally have levers that we adjust the steam with by hand. Copper is very beautiful to work with. It creates a lot of character. It's just one more thing that really creates this handmade beer. 
We get a lot more creativity over here as well with the brewing process. We're really able to uh, experiment with things with different ingredients. It definitely is a humbling thing to know where we came from and that we're continuing to try and innovate even though it's been this long. I had a feeling when I came here that it was gonna be home. I've always loved the moments that I've had here and perspectives have always changed. I do feel like I've grown up here in so many ways. We're a family here, keeping our tradition. It's very exciting to see the next generation just come up into the brewery. That was definitely part of why I stayed here, because it was such a community, and I'm very proud to be part of it. And it's a very family environment. There's always this tradition of, of just handing down this knowledge, honoring our heritage, but growing at the same time. And I think that makes a huge difference. I think that when you're just making beer day in and day out, it can get boring. But if you're honoring a tradition and you're enjoying everybody that you're doing it with and learning from each other and growing, I think that's huge. Looking forward to doing it for uh, another 126 years.